Okay, welcome to another quick tech video. Um, so today we're going to be showing you how you can use um, the Elgato screen link application on your iPhone to use it as a separate webcam and then import that into OBS. So you can have multiple streams, but today we're just going to focus on um, installing the screen link software on the iOS device and also um, what you need to do to enable the capture of your iOS or Android but iOS um, application within OBS. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to navigate to the Elgato uh, website and you want to go to downloads and what we're looking for is we want to download the um, 4k capture program. So you can pick any one of these apart from HD60 because that just gives you the game capture. But um, if you select something like 4K60 Pro, then you can see that it's compatible with all of these um, options down below. And you want to install that. So once you've got that installed, what that will do, it will install the software, but more importantly, it will load the plugin that you need. Okay, so once you've got the 4K capture utility installed, as you can see, we've got it installed here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna open up OBS Studio. Um, first of all, I'm gonna show you quickly where you can download that from on the App Store, which version it is, and then what the configuration options are. So the first thing you wanna do is navigate to your App Store and then you want to search for the Elgato screen link or just Elgato till you find screen link and you want to install this so um, there's two versions so there's a paid for version and a free version and the free version gives you 15 minutes of recording once you've got it installed you want to navigate to the settings and under the settings you can then set your max resolution um, your bit rate and your um, the buffering so you want to leave it set to automatic on buffering and then you want to also select the screen mirroring option as well so that you're not reversed once you've done that um, it's just a matter of clicking on the camera to start the uh, feed and I'll tell you a bit more about that um, in the next part of the video Okay, so now we've got the configuration options set on our iOS device. What you're gonna do, um, I'm gonna talk you through this. Um, I've, we've, we've shown it in the video already. You want to open up Elgato Capture, and as you can see here, um, we've gone through the settings, so we've done that part now. The next thing you wanna do is you wanna click on Camera. So by default, the option is to have the microphone disabled, which is the left-hand icon. Um, but you want to switch click on the button in the middle that will then flash blue and it will pop up a note saying replay kit broadcast screen link would like to live stream to screen to screen link and then you hit accept and then it gives you the options that you want to broadcast at um, and then you click on start the next thing you want to do on it is you can either select broadcast screen and microphone or broadcast screen only and we're going to select broadcast screen only and that will then start broadcasting. The next thing that we want to do is we're going to open up OBS Studio and as you can see we've got a blank display here we've got nothing selected but we are using the studio mode so this gives you the preview option and the program mode and the program mode over on the right here is um, what is streaming or what is recording and then you can make changes adjust your next camera shot using the preview option on the left so what we want to do we've got scene one selected as you can see here we've got no source selected so we want to add a new source and we're going to be selecting a video capture device and the video capture device we want to select Elgato screen link. You can take all the defaults as we've got here and we're going to say OK to that. So that now gives us our own second camera from the iPhone. So if I go out here for instance we can see out the front we can see the workstation 
and then we can see the office environment. And this is useful if you want to do uh, screen down shots, for instance. So let's turn that around. If we wanted to do a screen showing a down shot onto the microphone. We can do that. OK, so that, we'll leave the camera running. I'm just going to pop the camera over here. We'll have to prop it up somehow. There we go. So the next thing that we want to do is we can either, whoops, that's fallen down. So we can now look at getting an audio source included. So um, let's add an audio input capture. And for this, I'm going to select the microphone that I'm using at the moment. So this is our blue snowball. So we're going to OK that. And the next thing that we want to do, because OBS is a bit peculiar, um, we are going to go to not properties. We are actually going to go into our settings. We're going to go into our audio and we are going to select our microphone one to be our blue snowball. We're going to apply that and OK that. And as you can see, the cap is now being captured. So actually, we could actually remove this. So let's do that. And what you want to do on your feed is you want to go in to the advanced audio properties and you want to select this to be monitor and output to make sure that it's actually what you're seeing here is actually outputting to your stream. So the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to let's let's turn the camera around. Let's see. Go. So that means we can get the full 1080p resolution. Let's just put that there. There we go. Okay, so you are reliant on the quality of your Wi Fi signal and also the bit rate that you've set. Um, and you want to make sure that uh, there's not too much movement so that it picks up the fairly decent resolution. And then what we're going to do is we are actually going to start recording. So I've gone through the recording settings already, so I'm not going to talk about those. But then we're going to use our fade so that we're now recording the stream here. And again, I can take the camera. Remember, this feed is reliant on the video This feed is reliant on the video resolution of your device. So obviously newer iPhones, you're going to have a better image quality. So now we're going to stop recording. We can end our screen capture. Shut that off. There we go. So now let's open up what we've just recorded. I'm going to close OBS Studio down and we're going to go to our videos and we're going to open up our stream here. So I've gone through the recording settings already, so I'm not going to talk about those, but then we're going to use our fade so that we're now recording the stream here. And again, I can take the camera. Remember, this feed is reliant on the video. This feed is reliant on the video resolution of your device. So obviously, newer iPhones, you're going to have a better image quality. So now we're going to. So that shows how easy it is to um, use the software on your phone and record directly. You could also use uh, your screen recording that comes built in, 
um, if you just wanted to record the screen on your iPhone and then you can use that as a video source for um, you can use that as a video source for uh, inputting into whatever you want to so OBS it will take a video source um, you just play the video basically um, so that's all there is to it if you found that video useful give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the channel and just like to say thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one